Hey Vision TV, I'm Richard Daniel. Not too many people realize this, but K-9's role to his officer is very crucial. Today I got to speak with NGU's very own K-9 handler to talk about the importance of a K-9 dog. So I'm here with Zach Augustine, Barrett's handler. So Zach, um, how did you get Barrett as a K-9? So I started as uh, in support of our previous K-9, Stokey. Um, I was, uh, I was his decoy, um, we did a lot of work together, um, and that's initially how I got interested in K-9. When it became time for uh, Stokey to retire, we went to the sheriff's office who uh, trains all the local dogs, and they had Barrett available, so we went ahead and got him, and then we started training. So how much training did Barrett get, or is he still registering to be a canine? So Barrett and I did 300, about 300 hours over the summer. Okay. Um, in that 300 hours, it's a handler recertification course. Um, initially, when we get green dogs, they do a 600 hour course. That's where we imprint narcotics on them and teach them obedience and all their commands and even you know, teach them their name. Um, because Barrett had a previous handler, we didn't have to do that with him. So it only ended up being about a 300 hour course. So what does a daily schedule looks like for Barrett on a regular basis? Um, so we don't work at like a normal patrol schedule, um, although we are attached to uniform patrol. Um, normally get up, eat, both of us, um, mm -hmm. load up in the car, and we go and we hit the streets. Um, we patrol around campus. We train quite a bit, um, even, on, even on days off when we're not actually with our training group. We're doing obedience, we're you know, laying out tracks. So it's constant upkeep, um, and then we also do narcotics detection and patrol work as well. And what kind of hours does Barrett work? So Barrett works all the hours that I do. Um, if I'm in the car, he's in the car. So we essentially, we work night shift, we're attached to night shift, um, but we are available 24-7. Um, so I'm on, always on call, we're always on call for, uh, to assist any of the officers and, you know, car stops, anything like that. Um, we work with student life quite a bit. So we're, we're available all the time, so we don't really work a fixed schedule. And you like having him as a canine? Oh, absolutely. Um, Barrett and I are very, very similar um, in our attitudes. We want to go to work. Um, he's been an amazing dog. Um, he's actually one of the coolest, definitely the coolest thing I've done professionally. So as one can see, canine dogs are just as important as their officer. Reporting for Vision TV, I'm Rachel Daniel. Be sure to keep up with NGU Vision Media on Facebook and Instagram for your latest news on and off campus.